I snapped. I'm not a violent person. Betrayal can send even the best people over the edge, especially if it's by the person you loved and claimed loved you back and will never hurt you. This is a story about Shantari Weems. This is a story about the children whose lives will be impacted forever. The children she fought to protect. This is the story of James Weems, the man accused of allegedly causing this negative impact. And in the end, nobody wins. On Thursday, July 21st, 2022, D.C. area police were called between 7.30 and 7.40 p.m. to the Mandarin Oriental Hotel on the southwest part of D.C. It is now known as the Salamander. Upon arrival, officers were informed of a shooting coming from the 8th floor, specifically room 853. According to testimony by Detective Andrew Gong, when police got to the scene, they had a hard time getting into the room because it was barricaded from the inside. He went on to say police could hear Mrs. Weems inside the room saying, quote, everything was fine and there was nothing going on. Also during the standoff, police described hearing Mrs. Weems say from the other side of the door, He's a child molester. And after an hour long standoff with authorities, it was time for them to make a forcible entry into the room. Upon entry, police noticed a few things. There was blood on the hallway floors and blood in the bathroom. Among things also recovered from the room were a handgun located in the handbag out of its holster. There was also another handgun recovered. It was found in the lockbox in the room. A notebook was also discovered. Police described the contents of this notebook with notes like they wanted to shoot the victim but not kill him. Maybe cause paralysis but not kill him. Other notes said they want justice for these kids. And there was also a form of a will discovered in the notebook, which seemed to show Mrs. Weems distributing her belongings. Ultimately, Shantari Weems was arrested on charges of aggravated assault while being armed and assault with a dangerous weapon. Ultimately, James Weems was discovered with two gunshot wounds, one to the neck and one to the left thigh. So what could drive a woman with everything going for her? A great marriage, or so she thought. A great fulfilling career, running her own daycare, and getting to help raise and protect the kids. What could drive her to shoot him in cold blood with such rage? Before I get into the details, please like, share, comment, and subscribe so I can keep bringing these stories to you. Thank you. Sean Terry Weems was born Sean Terry Young in the Baltimore area to parents Lester and Buela. She was the youngest of five siblings and graduated from the Baltimore City Colleges in 1990. Her son Andrew was born a few months after she graduated. And for the next 11 and a half years after that, she was a correctional facility officer at the Brock Bridge Correctional Facility. Although she watched her mother run her own home daycare growing up, it wasn't until Sean Terry noticed the inmates she was tasked to guard were getting younger and younger. This sparked something in her to make a change somehow. In an effort to further her dream, Sean Terry applied to the Women Entrepreneurs of Baltimore. She got accepted, and this set her on her quest to opening her first business. In 2005, Shantari partnered with her friend, Nicole Knox, who she met working at the Brock Bridge facility. The two paired up and opened the first iteration of Lil Kids Castle Daycare in Columbia, Maryland. 
but due to financial constraints, the first location was closed. In 2006, Shantari and Nicole opened the second and permanent location for a long time in Owings Mills. It was during these years that Shantari Young met her future husband, James Weems Jr. The pair got married in 2017. On July 18, 2022, Shantari Weems recalls her husband James leaving the house to get dry cleaning done, but then returning only a few minutes later with a seizure warrant for his phone in hand. This was served by the Baltimore County Police. They also informed them that they were headed to the daycare facility. And after being informed that this was about a possible child pornography incident, Shantari was rightfully confused and questioned her husband, who denied the accusations or any knowledge of what was going on. A judge says this man, 57-year-old James Weems, will be held without bail. Weems is facing sex abuse charges stemming from accusations he molested three children at his wife's daycare, and police believe there may be more victims. The initial allegation against James Weems was first reported on July 3rd, 2022. The victim, a 10-year-old boy, was reportedly watching material of a sexual nature on a tablet. When the victim's parents found out, the child told them Mr. James taught them how to access the site and went on to describe the alleged abuse that took place against them. The child noted the abuse took place on the daycare school bus. It also took place on the daycare secure playground. And this is what prompted authorities to look into it and eventually serve that search and seizure warrant I spoke on earlier. James Weems Jr. was a former Baltimore police officer from 1996 to 2005. After leaving the force, he stayed on in an administrative capacity until 2008. You think somebody who's been in law enforcement and he was also a Marine is somebody you could trust, especially around kids. But this wasn't the case. James had access to the kids because he was the bus driver of the daycare. According to investigators, he would have come in contact with about 93 kids in his two years in that role. All this time, Shantari was trying to convince herself that these accusations weren't true. But after one of the mothers confronted her and told her what had been done to her child, Shantari told WUSA 9 that, quote, when she saw the pain in the woman's face, she knew it was all true. The third victim alleged that James touched her inappropriately and exposed himself to her. And with all this information coming to light, Sean Terry had reached her limit. On July 21st, 2022, Sean Weems drove from Baltimore to D.C., but not before she took her first sip of alcohol in almost 20 years and then texting her business partner, quote, I'm going to kill him. James was in D.C. working security at the National Urban League Convention. When Shantari got to the hotel, she waited in the room for her husband. When James returned, Shantari claims that things got heated. She confronted her husband with what she had found out, but of course, James denied. In her words, quote, I think emotions was high. Um, I equated to the situation was kind of like a fire. He was fueled, I was fueled. I was badgering him all week. He's agitated, I'm calling him while he's working. And I think we poured that fuel in the fire and it just blew up. According to the affidavit, Sean Terry told the police, quote, The conversation escalated into a full-blown argument, and at some point in the argument, her husband stood up and started towards her. It is at this moment where Mr. Weems was shot once in the neck and another in his left leg by Mrs. Weems, which shattered his femur, according to reports. After the incident, Sean Terry Weems 
was charged with aggravated assault while armed and assault with a dangerous weapon. Her husband, on the other hand, was taken to the hospital to be treated for his wounds. After his recovery, he was extradited back to Maryland to face the initial 13 charges of child abuse and first and second degree sex offenses. These were his initial charges. Later on, Shantaria would admit that she was sorry for her actions, but would not apologize to James. She said, quote, I will apologize when he apologizes to those children. As I stated earlier, his initial charges were 13. Today, those charges sit at 33 counts of child sexual abuse and assault charges in relation to four alleged victims. Six months after the incident at the Mandarin, Shantari was given a four-year sentence for her actions. This came as a surprise to many. Presiding Judge Michael O'Neill said during the proceedings, Shantari Weems had no right to take the law into her own hands. Shantari expressed being emotional after being handed her sentence. The support that she has gained on the internet by way of the hashtag Free Shantari is amazing. Her lawyer, Tony Garcia, expressed shock when Judge O'Neill doubled Shantari's sentence even beyond the two years suggested in the previously agreed on plea agreement. In a quote, Garcia said, Never have I been hit like that in a trial without warning or without some sort of courtesy that the judge disagreed with the agreement between the parties. All in all, this is a tragic case on all sides. It's tragic for the kids because of the alleged abuse perpetrated against them. It's tragic for Shantari because I believe she's a good person and the man she trusted with a sacred part of her life broke that trust beyond repair. And for James Weems, although a conviction hasn't been handed down yet for the allegations against him, it makes it hard to trust anybody. Because in our society, we're supposed to be able to trust law enforcement, Marines, you know, people of that nature. And this makes it extra hard to do that. I really hope those children find a way to heal. And I hope Sean Terry does as well. And I hope she keeps receiving the support she's been getting until her release. And even after. Sean Terry has hopes of starting her own nonprofit organization to help fight child abuse. The quote she gave to WUSA 9 really resonated with me. Sean Terry said, and quote, And I'm definitely going to make a great batch of lemonade from these lemons that I've been dealt. And that's the right spirit to have. Although I don't condone her taking the law into her own hands, in light of the allegations, who could blame her? She trusted this man with her life. She trusted her with her business, trying to protect these kids, or so she thought. And for James Weems, if these allegations are substantiated, I hope she never gets out. I hope they put him under the jail and he's prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And I look forward to bringing you any further updates on this case as it is provided. The last update that I saw that I could find, because I looked really hard, the last update was on March 23rd. As of now, I don't know where James Weems' trial is at, but hopefully it's soon and they try him and they convict him of these charges and substantiate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be bringing you more of the human profile.